All right, so you don't need to see my face because I don't got no makeup on. It's just a quick thing um, because I got mail and we're going to open it um, and the mail from yesterday. So thank you for everybody out there that, that does support me. Again, I, I don't need you to publicly say stuff. It, it's okay. Um, I'm a big girl. But the thing I want just... The internet is a bad place. It can be a bad place. And um, yeah, the, the hospital confirmed that yesterday. So that group that likes to bash me, um, I've left. I, I left. And they can say what they want. And I'm just sharing to let you guys know that I'm okay. For those of you who have actually read um, some of the things that was said to me. Because they are beyond horrific. Um, and again, yesterday, like I did show a little bit to the ER people. And they were just like fed up and um they did contact the rcmp actually because it, it was that bad however um it's not illegal to be a jerk it's not illegal to do anything on the internet at this point the rcmp and the canadian government are right now working on trying to write a legislation about online bullying um but there's a lot of things in there that's complicated mostly that if online bullying happens and they find it how do they prove that it was a specific person behind the keyboard that's that's their biggest thing and we're gonna move on from there but those people can't move on from me and it, got, it did get to me yesterday I mean I'm, but those people just for some reason they cannot leave me alone now I've left the group completely now last week I just stopped saying things because I was curious about what they're saying behind my back um, because they are saying things that could you know potentially affect me in the future and I just wanted to know what I was up against. And I realized, was it two days ago or whatever? I hadn't, I hadn't said a thing in about, you know, a five or six days. And they purposely created a thread asking where I was. And they called me the girl with a million dollars of makeup and the nice eyebrows. So I guess I have nice eyebrows. Thanks. Anyway, you know, they, they, just, they just can't get over it. They, and apparently I'm the one with the problem. Or, you know, think about it. So, all that happened, and then again, I did put up a post, you know, and when I put posts up, you know, when I'm talking about other, and bringing things out, I do expect, I, I know that there's people that are going to hate, and, and I am prepared for that, that I, I learned the hard way, that if you're going to put your opinion somewhere, there's always someone that isn't going to like it, and they're going to have something to say about it, and if you want to be grown up enough to put your opinion out there, you have to be grown up enough to accept somebody else's opinion. But they're going beyond opinion. They're just attacking me and insulting me about everything. That's... After a while, um, it, when I left the group, I had no idea what they were attacking me about because I couldn't understand. I mean, I don't think they knew what they were insulting me about. Either way, I completely left the group and I did, you know, leave a message to the admin. And she sent me back, you know, that she was sorry. That she doesn't understand. She didn't do anything to me. And... No, personally, she didn't. And that's what I told her back, that personally, she didn't do anything to me. She didn't. However, as the admin of that group, she let it happen. She didn't do anything to stop it. And being an admin of a group, because, hey, I'm on this page. I, I know what the rules are. Um, letting it happen in anything in life, whether you're on Facebook or in real life, if you... Let someone bully somebody else or hurt someone else and you don't say anything. It's just as guilty as you participating. You didn't do anything to prevent it. And um, in real life, if you don't do anything to prevent a crime or someone from being hurt and you don't report it, you can go to jail. Uh, but not on the internet. I'm not saying it went that far, but I'm just putting that in there. So this is the little thing that I posted. So I got this yesterday in the mail because I had ordered it again from China, Amazon, whatever. It took a long time to get here. And I knew that, you know, I was obviously down and depressed when I got this and I didn't give a crap that I had gotten it. I did swatch it a little bit this morning real quick. I always have a hard time opening these things. Here it's actually really, really cute. Um, let's put it in the sun. It's going to work. Um, this one's a little light purple. So it's kind of like nudes with a little bit of different colors so there's a lot of grays now these look pretty the same and i did swatch them so this one has it's a gray with a hint of blue and this is just like a steel gray this is a taupe brown not as much brown as you think and then this one's a nice cream taupe so they're all accenting each other 
and there's a few that are mac matte and there's a few that are you know shiny and then there's one that's glitter and um this was i think three dollars and it is this w7 company um i haven't had a problem yet i've never heard anything too bad i'm gonna try it i mean for three dollars i'm not gonna be upset if it doesn't really work but they are cruelty free because i like to stick around that and this is my mail um, i don't want to show you my address because you know you never know who's going to show up in my house and be silly and um yeah so it is some more makeup brushes that i, I ordered again i had my set from from elf um you know, these ones where they were all like a dollar each for the white handles, they work great. I love them, but I needed something to replace um, these ones because I do cream contour. I I really like cream um, on my face. I have really dry skin, and and for me, it's what I like. I and mean, do what you want. So I'm trying to get replacements of this thickness. So let's see if these will work. They Oh, yes. Now, the handle of it is, is quite cheap, okay? I'll tell you that now. It feels, it's plastic. It's not solid whatsoever. However, it looks really cute. Um, but I'm not concerned about the fact that the handle is, is plastic. I mean, if it's, oh, this is soft. Oh, my gosh. If you could just feel how soft this is. <gasps> and these are synthetic and cruelty-free, by the way. Got them on Amazon. Um, I can link the link below if you're interested. So they are extremely pretty. I don't want to put myself around my makeup on. They're extremely pretty. They really are. They're super, super soft. Um, I am going to wash them, and I, by the time I put this up, I'll, I'll have a little um, note if they shed a lot while I wash them, because you should always wash everything before you use them. But oh, yeah. I am very excited, and then I am going to play around with them, do my makeup today. Because um, today's my day off, but... Doing my makeup is something that, um, for me, is something that makes me feel good, whether I, I go anywhere or not. I, it's a hobby that I like. And um, their comment with the million dollar makeup stuff, I don't have a million dollars. I, I don't have anything. I mean, I'm good at shopping. I get things on sale, obviously. Okay, so let's just talk about the fact that, you know, I know you guys see my arms and they're fat, whatever. That's okay. Um, I've lost a ton of weight. Um, they weighed me yesterday and they did a bunch of, of blood tests and stuff to, to make sure that I wasn't losing weight because I've lost over 45 pounds since November, um, which is good. But they want to make sure because I know I do have kidney issues and liver issues and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, they're, they just want to make sure that they're still in the healing process. I'm waiting to see a specialist for them to make sure there's no long-term damage. But they did check to make sure that they hadn't been going backwards in the healing process, and they weren't. So I'm not losing weight because of anything in my body that is not working properly, which is great to know. So I was kind of worried that, you know, uh, mostly because my father's mother died of either uterus or cervical cancer. I'm not too sure which one. And um, my mom's too mad at me to actually give me the information so that I... Anyway, yeah. So I thought maybe, you know, it could be that. I was really, really worried. And they did the tests. And again, there, there's nothing there. I don't have to worry about cancer. It's actually most probably the fact that I've lost a lot of weight and that my hormones have changed. And I think my body's actually becoming regular and normal. Yay. So, I mean, if I have a little bit of a fatty arm, whatever, you know what, people? I don't care. We should all stop caring. But um, let's go play with these brushes and have some fun. Love y'all.